Hey, can you prepare me that balance sheet? Wait, wait, wait. Prepare the what? Hey everyone, Vic here. Welcome to my channel, Accounting Masters. In this video, I will be talking about what a balance sheet is and how it is supposed to look like. I will be also discussing the most important accounting equation you must know. So what is balance sheet? A balance sheet now is called Statement of Financial Position, but we're used to calling it balance sheet so we'll stick with it. So balance sheet is an important financial statement that reports the company's assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity at one point in time. Think of it as a snapshot of a company's financial position at that specific point in time. So it is also one of the five key pieces of the financial statements. The balance sheet, income statement, statement of stockholders' equity, statement of cash flows, statement of comprehensive income the date stated on the company's financial statements such as on the balance sheet and income statement is called the year end date so this date depends on what the company chooses as their financial year most companies use december 31st as their year end date which means that the accounting period will be from january 1st to december 31st Let's review the accounting equation as this is basically what the balance sheet consists of. If you haven't watched the last video on the 5 types of accounts in accounting, please check that video link at the top right hand corner. Let's take a look at the equation. Assets is what the company owns equals to liabilities what the company owes to third parties plus equity what the company owes to the owners. Or it can be rearranged to assets minus liabilities equals equity which is also known as the net assets this is good for the company because it means that the assets are more than the liabilities and most likely means that the company is making money either way the double effect will make both sides of the equation balance and equal to each other at all times balance sheet accounts are continuous meaning that the transactions are brought forward from day one the transactions are recorded during the year and then carry forward to the next year. This is different compared to the income statement accounts where the total net income or loss during the current year is closed off to the retained earnings under the equity section of the balance sheet. Here we see that example right here. The net income or loss will be transferred to the balance sheet retained earnings section. Here we have Joe's Electronics Limited statement of financial position which is the balance sheet as at december 31st 2022 it is written as at it's because as mentioned before it is just a snapshot and as at december 31st which is the snapshot of the last date of the financial year of a company on the balance sheet you will see the comparatives of the previous year these comparisons are for the stakeholders like shareholders, lenders, customers, bankers, management staff to analyze and evaluate the growth and performance of the company. You will notice that the top part of the balance sheet are assets, the bottom part are the liabilities and equity. The assets are presented on the balance sheet by their order of liquidity which is the time taken by each asset class to be converted into cash. So here we see from the hardest to the easiest. So the hardest would be fixed assets. That's why they're listed first on the balance sheet because they take longer to liquidate, which is to sell off to convert to cash compared to the cash at the bank where it can be withdrawn easily. Inventory is listed before receivables because selling the inventory converting to cash will take a longer time than chasing for a debtor to pay up their debts. Assets are divided into two classes. First is the non-current assets, second are the current assets. 
some non-current assets just acquired on a long-term basis is to be used to generate revenue for the business. Non-current assets are long-term and have a useful life of more than one year. They're not held for resale in the normal course of trading, so it is not inventory. Fixed assets such as buildings, motor vehicles, and plant and machinery are prime examples of what a non-current asset is. They're also stated at cost, which is the original price it was purchased at. Then we have current assets. Current assets are always used and are expected to be realized in the company's normal course of business trading. Current assets can be used for the company's immediate needs or it can be converted into cash within one year. So again, we have inventory, accounts receivables, and cash. These are current assets. For liabilities, they're presented by current liabilities first and then non-current liabilities. Current liabilities are items that are old and due. It will need to be paid off within one year by the company. So examples of trade payables are amounts due to the company's suppliers and are usually paid within one year. Or salary payables, company owed salary to their staff and needs to be paid. Accruals are expenses that have occurred during the period but have not been paid yet. For example, a telephone bill for November 2022 is due but has not been paid yet as at January 2023. The telephone expense when incurred in November 2022 needs to be recorded as expense first and then it will be treated as accrual because the company still owes money to the telephone company for the bill for November 2022. Non-current liabilities. Non-current liabilities are items that are old, long-term. They will need to be paid off in more than a year's time. For example, a long-term bank loan taking over 10 years time to repay is a non-current liability. Types of loans under current liabilities are short-term loans to be paid off within one year, or the current portion paid within one year of a long-term loan will be also be listed under current liabilities. A call loan where the bank can call the loan anytime and the loan will need to be repaid immediately by the company is also a current liability. Long-term liabilities usually has a repayment schedule of a time period of more than one year. Items that are considered long-term liabilities include company bonds and long-term loans such as mortgages. Here we see the last part of the balance sheet which is the equity. So under equity we have share capital or can be called paid up capital. So this is the amount of capital injected by the owners or shareholders in exchange for the company's shares. We have retained earnings which is the accumulated earnings or loss from the previous years since incorporation. We have the current year's earnings or loss. So this account is closed off and transferred from the income statements, net income or loss for the current year to the equity section. So let's take a look at the balance sheet here. Remember our accounting equation, assets minus liabilities equals equity. So this balance sheet shows an example of that. So here, let's look at 2022. The total current assets is 126,000. And the current assets is $443,050. So we add these two up together is $569,050. Then we look at the current liabilities. We add them up together is 63,000. The long-term liability is 100,000. So the total liabilities is 163,000. So what we do here is we take the assets, right? And then we minus the liabilities. And then we have a net assets of $406,050. So remember this number. This number will be on the left side of the equation. And then let's take a look at equity. Once we add up all the accounts under the equity section, we have $406,050. So this equals to the net assets, $406,050 also. So now we see that 
the equation, right? Assets minus liabilities equals to equity. And the balance sheet balances, and that's it. Let's analyze a little bit on the balance sheet here, right? So we see that the assets are more than liabilities, which means it's net assets. So it means that the company can just pay off its liabilities with their assets anytime, right? If anything happens. So this is, this is a healthy sign. We also see that the company is earning money. We see that the retained earnings is 203,500 and the current year's earning is 192,550. And this is very healthy. So near the end of the balance sheet, we will see a statement. And the statement will say, the company accounting policies and explanatory notes form an integral part of these financial statements. This means that there are financial statements notes to explain some of these figures on the balance sheet and their accounting policies. I will be going through most of the balance sheet accounts individually in the later videos. So be sure to click on the notification bell so you won't miss out any new videos when they come out. Please also smash the subscribe, like, share buttons and leave a comment down below to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I will be talking about the income statement.